Hi guys, just excuse how I look, I've just been to the gym, so looking a bit worse for wear, but hey. Um, just a quick review of the book that I've just finished, which is this one. It's called The Secret... I can still never work out where to put these. The Secret Intensity of Everyday Life, and it's by William Nicholson. Um, I'd never heard of it until I saw it. It actually came up, I think... Like, under the upcoming releases on Waterstones website, I think, which was how I sort of came to be aware of it. Um, it's quite long. It's 408 pages. So when you can see there, 408 pages. Um, but the font is a pretty decent size. If I open a double page, it's pretty sort of average sized. Um, if I read the back for you, it says... Laura is content with her marriage, her two children and her part-time job until an ex-lover gets in touch out of the blue. Suddenly, passion and excitement are rekindled, but how much happiness has she a right to expect and what about the pain she would cause to achieve it? Unknown to Laura, several others in a Sussex village are living with their own resolved inner dramas. None of them guesses at her crisis, yet every decision they take has an impact on those around them. The secret longings of a large cast of characters interweave in a gripping story that reveals life at its richest, comic and tragic, poignant and cruel, surprising and moving. Um, another author called Elizabeth Jane Howard has said of it that it was unobtrusively brilliant, I can't remember enjoying and admiring a new novel more. And Kate Moss, who wrote Labyrinth, Sepulchre and the Winter Ghosts, which are actually three of my favourite books, I might review them at some point. Um said utterly captures the sense of quiet desperation of ordinary lives the huge emotional vulnerability of having children and the ways in which life turns on a sixpence and that's lovely and marina lewica who wrote the one about tractors um said for psychology's magazine nicholson writes about his diverse characters with great kindness just peep beneath the idyllic surface and it's teeming with lust tragedy pathos and broken dreams um i kind of agree with all of those comments um i actually found what amazed me was that the whole book all 408 pages of it actually only covers six days in time so that's quite amazing really that you know, that number of pages covers six days. Um, and I actually felt, sort of from the middle onwards, certainly, that actually the story of Laura and her husband and her ex-lover kind of doesn't feel like the main part of the story after a while. I think because as you start to get to know the other people in the village, um, it kind of you know, the kind of becomes a bigger story and her story is just part of the whole story, if you know what I mean. Um, I enjoyed it. I thought it was really well written and really clever the way all of the stories intertwine, actually. Um, and I think there's a lot of truth in the title about the secret intensity of everyday life, which by the time you've read the book, I think it makes you stop and think about what the title actually does mean. And I think it's quite true. Um, also, um, well, I don't know about also, but maybe the one thing about it that annoyed me, excuse me, worked too hard at the gym, I think, not so much annoyed me, but frustrated me a bit, was that there were sometimes whole bits, whole parts, where I felt like the grammar was wrong, like the grammar was out or off or just missing or just completely wrong. Um, but then I'm a bit anal in that way, so maybe it wouldn't bother other people, I don't know. Let me know below if things like spelling mistakes and grammar and errors in books annoys you, because it drives me mad. Um, but other than that, I mean, that could just be his style, it could be bad editing, who knows. Um... And again, if you've read this book, I'd love to know your thoughts on it and whether you enjoyed it, whether you didn't, whether you noticed the grammar things, etc, etc. Does anybody know if William Nicholson has any other books? I guess not, because it says, oh no, it says enjoying 
a new novel more so that doesn't mean it was his first one I would suspect maybe it wasn't his first one just from the way it was written but um, yeah and there's like a little bit on the front there like a little subtitle and it says there's another quote up there from Kate Moss that says um, incredibly accurate and true and then underneath it, there's a little subheading which says, You are happily married, suddenly your long-lost lover calls, would you be tempted? So, would you be tempted? Comment below. Um, yeah, so this book was seven ninety nine, but I don't think it was that much. I, don't, I didn't pay that much for it. Um, so, yeah. I haven't seen it in many places, actually. Like, it's not been in Asda or Tesco or any of those. So, anyway, I'm rambling. So, let me know if you've read it, etc., etc., and I'll just hold it up again to remind you what it looks like. That's it there The Secret Intensity of Everyday Life by William Nicholson. So, talk to you soon.